Hey guys, welcome back to WebDementors YouTube channel and you're watching Python tutorial series for beginners. So in this video, we're going to see the next level of inheritance, multi-level inheritance. So we've seen multiple inheritance in the previous video, but in this video, we're going to see multi-level inheritance. Not much different, but it is something that you can use. Now, let's open up the multiple inheritance in here and let's see, so human who has to be a student also in learner what if the situation is like the student has to be a human first so I do this which makes this human unnecessary well that's the end of the video this is called as multi-level inheritance yeah it's not a big concept but the thing is you can simplify the inheritance like the association between two classes like the parent class this is going to be the parent class super parent class sub parent class and this is the subclass so it's going to be the grandfather okay this is going to be a father and this is the son that's how the stops work so learner will have the inheritance on student and the student will have the inheritance on human so learner in turn has the inheritance of a human as well so this is how it works so it comes like the level or the hierarchy or the tree comes like a human will be there for learner for sure so which means that a learner connects to student and student connects to human so a human is a student and learner being a student is also a human confusing isn't it really yes uh, I need some kind of a diagram to explain it but it's so simple come on guys you can understand it You're right now going to the next level like from beginner to intermediate so it's time for you to understand it so if you don't understand the object oriented programming concepts then it's time maybe you try to sit read what is meant by class what is meant by object what is meant by polymorphism, what is meant by inheritance, what is meant by data hiding or data abstraction and various stuffs that you have to read for object oriented programming because there's a lot of things like there's overloading, overriding, multiple inheritance, single inheritance and there's something there in object oriented programming which you have to read theoretically before coming into the programming level in order to understand it some things might not be possible in programming so that also you have to understand because object oriented programming is like some of the programs like programming languages like Java is not completely object oriented but they are partially object oriented programming languages so it's like that so you have to understand it just find out what Python stands up so is it partial is it complete or else it's more than complete you know there's something more than a normal object oriented programming language can provide so this is something that you have to have as your exercise maybe kind of a research stuff so research and development stein so try to grow try not to stop with what I'm showing in my video try to go you know try to break free and fly around find different things make mistakes in your program that's very important the reason why I'm talking in this video a lot is because I have to fill up time because the video started very fast and ended super fast so I'm trying to fill the gap with something so you can take it as a valuable comment or valuable suggestion valuable advice so try to write a program maybe something crazy something good something really that you want to do but Python is really powerful really really powerful we haven't seen even one percentage of what Python can do okay so we've just seen what Python has okay what Python has it's up to you to make you know it's up to you to show what you really can do with Python so Python's power depends on who writes the program so the developer decides how powerful Python is that's how Python gives the power to the developer or the programmer who's writing programs in Python or creating applications in Python so try to break free try to do something new try to you know end up with some kind of error issues mistakes and then figure out a way to find a solution for the proper solution not a temporary solution that's going to creep up again and again and again 
so try to write a program that's like 100 lines writing 100 lines of program in Python is really difficult because you can see none of the programs that I've written have gone beyond 20 lines so it's very really difficult so that that's the reason why I'm asking you to write a program which is 100 lines in Python then I'd say okay you, you just you, you just crossed beginner you are at the end of intermediate to advanced level so you're something between or less than intermediate to advanced so try to work on it try to learn more try to do something crazy try to do some algorithms in Python which I might do later on in the series because I'm trying to you know think about the rest of the things like JavaScript and PHP HTML and also reboot reboot on bootstrap and also there is an alpha version of bootstrap available as well so these are something that is in my mind so which I might do okay don't forget to watch those series guys don't forget that okay so check out them on the channel which might come soon maybe late maybe like uh, you know it might not come as soon maybe it might come like r right next day depends anyway guys thank you for watching this video and it's not that big but there's a lot of advice depends on you to take it or leave it okay well thank you for watching this video let's see in some other video of course and if you have any kind of suggestions or issues or feedbacks or any comments please leave them in the comment section don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video as well and if you want to contact me you can also try contacting me through Facebook page Google Plus page or to the feed as well so you can find those links in the description section thank you guys let's see some of the time see ya